Hey everybody, welcome back to Darkwood. So, we survived the second night with no encounters, and there's a traitor here. A man, roughly my size, is standing before me. I can barely make out his disturbingly familiar features through the met, mete visor on his, of his helmet. The massive helmet is covered with an old sack and seems to be an integral part of the unnaturally pale body. I remember him. He's the one who rescued me from the doctor's house. The man reaches out to me with his black hand. It's covered in charcoal. There's something written on his worn woolen glove. We need to stick together, brother. His lips are moving, but all the sounds are drowned out inside the helmet. He shrugs and then takes the huge sack off his back and drops it on the ground, revealing its contents. Eh, yeah, photo of a road. He wipes his left glove on his pants, takes out the charcoal from his pocket, and starts scribbling. When he finishes, he lifts his dirty hand. All the roads lead deeper into the woods. So what you got? We got 100 rep with this dude. So he's got fabric, which we can use to make uh, inventory upgrades. Ammo, bits and bobs, st st stuff, shovel blade. Alright, let's go... Let's go see what we can... Oh. All right. The man takes a step in my direction and pats me on the shoulder. So give him a shiny stone, some meat, a flare, meat. Let's see, this needs alcohol bottles, matches, and rags, so... Make an extra Molotov. We'll take our bear trap with us, because we're going to need that for something. Um... Hmm... I give him this, and then I want to buy the watch. So now we know what time it is. And we gotta be home by 10 o'clock. I know it's only halfway. Can I upgrade this anymore? Nope, just one. So we're. Okay. Nope, oh, time to head out. First person thing monster that I want to find. Is that fucking elk? There's Wolf's camp.
There you are, you son of a bitch. All right, that's a hundred rep. Now, I didn't hear a knock at the door last night, so I don't think I got an invitation to the wedding. That's experience in the bag. Okay, let's go check this place out again. Wagon decorated colorful ribbons and flowers made of white tissue paper. You're supposed to get like a knock at your door at night, and there's supposed to be like a wedding invitation.
Scrap, battery, meat, antlers, Fucking damn. All right, so it's like one. Now it's raining. Shit. Bad dog. Those the mushrooms here. with alcohol I know they're there I can hear them laughing they're behind the wall of trees can't get through myself the trees grow back too fast Child size dress. There we go, some fucking fabric. Shit. 
shit. And we do have to pop down here. Okay. What do we got? Make an inventory upgrade. Stash that. Stash that. Back here, you son of a bitch. Gotcha. Hmm. Oh, I'm gonna chase chase them back to my house. fucking my damn weapon up. Okay.
Okay. So what do we... Yeah, I should probably repair this. Shit, I only got two boards left. Get the stuff to fucking barricade it. All right, nightfall. Please don't eat my asshole, out, Mr. Monster. I'll fight no monster. Monster bad. Oh, we got the polter, polter thingies. some kind of polter thingy. Hmm? You want to go home? Fuck off. Don't need no bedroom ghosts coming up in my shit. Guess I'll sit here and have me a fucking drink. Six more hours, something's going on. Something creek. Ah, 
Don't you... Oh, you son of a bitch. How did the dog open the door that way? So we finally had an encounter. Son of a... God damn it. I see you wiggling on the other side of my door. Come on in, bitch. Fucking sell your ass, fucking whack your ass with a piece of wood and sell you for money. After each night survived, you gain a reputation with the traitor. Yeah, I think we already kind of figured that out. Hold on, traitor man. I have a load of crap I wish to sell ye. As I approach it, the man drops his sack, sack to the, from his back with visible relief. I notice a smile on his face through the mantic visor of his helmet. The man nods in greeting. Alright, so we have 350 rep. I need that for a lockpick. I need more nails. And we're gonna need more wood. Because I just haven't found shit. Could buy... Could buy that for some experience, but... I think the red eggs also. Mm, but I need to save save rep, so. Thanks, Broski. Another lock pick. How much? I think three. Alrighty. So. I see we go this way today. reason I bring a bear trap is because there's usually two of those fucking elk in the dry meadow. Every time I ever played this, there's always... There's always two of those son bitches. Surprise, bitch! You want some too? I got boards for days! Sweet. That's worth running back right now. Another sheet of fabric. <sighs> mm. 
barricade is too strong to dismantle, really. I will take me another inventory upgrade. Get two more inventory slots. Now the hot bar, I mean, the hot bar upgrade's good because you know it lets you have more readyable items, but it it's basically you get two inventory spaces for an inventory upgrade, and you get one hot bar thing for a hot bar upgrade. Granted, it is more readyable items, but it's also only one extra inventory space. Right now, I'd rather carry more shit with me. More shit on, you know, in my backpack. Yeah, that was the shrine. Oh, you little son of a bitch. Are these... So these are the tree logs I already searched. Aha. Uh -huh. oh, 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 damn shit. Fuck. No. Oh, you fucking cockhole. That's where it's an extra rep with the trader. That's the way into the silent forest. <sighs> That's what I want to see. board there we couldn't grab. There was also
Alrighty. Oh, whoops. So, aside from going into the underground passage, this is the place I was before, wasn't it? Yeah. So, besides going into the underground passage. Ooh, shiny stone. That's 130 rep. Actually, let's go see Wolf really quick. Because Wolf is... Wolf, Wolf should be right over here. Oh. Oh, that was that one trap I passed by. Yes, meat. Aha, he does have another toolbox. If I trade him that, I can get in our toolbox. Uh, uh, I don't need anything else. But with a new toolbox, I can get to the next level of, uh, I can get to the next level of workbench, which means when I gather the right materials, I can make a better weapon, namely a shovel. I need basically five pips of fuel. Alright, upgrade workbench. Next I need more nails, more boards, and another toolbox. But at that point I'll be able to make light armor, a real, a uh, single, a reusable single shot shotgun, and a sickle. All right, so All right. Can I upgrade this anymore? Ooh, I actually can. Uh, more nails. Cause, uh, yeah. So we got five hours. Oh, can't go that way. Well, I think it was about the last thing we do before we go to the Silent Forest would be to go check out the Underground Passageway. Can't dig. Hmm. Mag 
gesehen. Hmm. Thick wooden post barely holds soap ground and tangled roots. Construction seems to be on the verge of collapse. Part of the patch is blocked by overgrown tangled roots. <laughs> dot dot dot. I shall take your odd meat. But ah, shit. Locked. That's my only way out. Uh, uh, yeah, it's my only way out. Won't be able to open it without my key. The hatch handle's covered in a thick layer of dust. It hasn't been opened for at least two weeks. I can hear a faint voice throughout the howling wind. It seems familiar. It seems to be coming through the keyhole. Someone's calling me. Hello, Mr. Light. I still got five fucking hours, bitch. I dropped my stuff. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Once I get my happy ass back down there. Fucking bombard your fucking candy ass with Molotovs. At least one more Molotov. Hopefully that'll be enough to kill your fucking chompy ass. So I thought, Dick. <clears throat> Wait, it still had the timer up there, even though I lost my watch. Hmm. And here's the downside. The fuck do I do for the next, like, four hours? <clears throat> Wait, did I search this? Yeah, I did. Essence of Rabbit. Okay, so I need five pips of fuel.
These ones aren't exactly what I'd call full, so... I think that, I think that Torch is on the verge of extinction. Actually, I need to make another torch. Yeah, I'm going to need to make another torch. Thinking about tomorrow, thinking about tomorrow, where we're gonna go to the silent forest, we, and I need fire, I got Molotovs, I got that, I should probably make an extra bandage, I need, you need fire to get to the silent forest, because there's shit in the way that you gotta burn off. Why would I waste experience to make something to cure something that goes away? I do need... Whenever you go to a new hideout, though, you always want to take all your alcohol with you. Because when you get to the second hideout, you get a thing that summons a dude that you can give one bottle of alcohol to, and he'll bring all your shit over from one hideout to that hideout. The problem is he's an alcoholic son of a bitch. So if you leave any act if you leave any alcohol in your stash, the fucker will drink it. So you basically, when you're transitioning to from one hideout to another, take all your alcohol with you. Otherwise, that cockhole fucking drink all your Molotovs. Well, you don't want to drink the Molotovs, but it'll drink the fucking stuff you used to make them fucking Molotovs. Because it's a dickhead. Alright, we have a good supply of wood. So what do I want for tomorrow? Well, we gotta, gotta take all our alcohol. So, just get that out of the fucking way. We'll... I know we'll find gas on the way. There's a busted-ass generator we gotta walk by. So I know we'll find gas. And... Then we're gonna sell these to the trader in the morning. Yeah, okay. Then also in the morning we'll dismantle the, those three barricades. We won't get all of the... Uh, we won't get all of the resources back. But we should get... I think it takes like... I think it takes like three boards and some uh, three boards and seven nails or something like that to 
to barricade something, but yeah, it takes like so much, so much crap to to barricade something up. And I think you can. I think you recover one board and three nails when you tear your own barricades down. So we'll, as long as you know, the freaking asshole inhabitants of the woods don't come out of the fucking, come out and tear all my barricades down. Then we'll rip our rip the barricades down and. uh... Well, given what time it is, next video we'll be heading into the Silent Forest, so... Because, yeah, we'll go through here, and I know they're... Because they're, this area is... These transition areas are pretty much static. So there's going to be a... I know we're going to pass by a broken generator with gas. There's going to be a guy with a map, and there's some shit we have to burn. Then the map will show us where the hideout in the Silent Forest is, and we can beeline there. And we'll be able to spend that, that first day basically trying to get that fucking place set up and waiting for fucking Cockhole McDrunkard to bring all my shit over. Which I think it... I think if you leave the general area, he'll drop the package off eventually. So you don't actually have to wait until... So you don't actually have to wait until uh, the next morning. But if you hang around, I think you actually have to wait till next morning. Yes, I forgot exactly what the fuck you are. I know what you are. It's a good thing there's a wall in the way, so I'm not actually looking directly at you. I forgot what those were, what those are supposed to be. I don't know if it's a ghost or it's supposed to be a willow wisp or something. It's basically like a big red flare, and you can stand like in it, and it won't do anything. It's if you look at it, it hurts you. So. You know, it can be like, oh, look, there's a thing, because I don't actually see it. It's just, like, there. It's a real bitch, though, because they appear randomly, so... I think there's a polter thingy trying to fuck with me. Opening my fucking doors up. Being a dick. Fuck off. No solicitors. I said no fucking solicitors. Dick. Stop beating on my fucking window, asshole! Suck a dick! How many times do I have to tell you to fuck off? No, I don't want to talk about our lord and savior, Cthulhu. Mine's better. Well, Cthulhu's my savior. I don't give a fuck what whacked out fucking... tree god or whatever you worship is. Stop breaking my damn window! Okay, asshole, you know what? Come on in! Asshole! Fucking dickhead done smacking up my fucking window! Breaking my shit. Yeah, I got one board. Yeah, one board and three nails. Excuse you. Mr. Man.
fucking motherfuckers done locking up in my house, breaking my fucking shit, like goddamn cock knobbers, fucking piece of shit ass motherfucker, mama doesn't unteach you no manners. Yeah, I had a stack of 50 nails, so... No, I got... F oh, no, I got five nails and two boards out of that one. Ah, okay, uh, maybe, maybe it depends on how damaged it is. Fucking assholes... Fucking smacking up my goddamn smacking up my goddamn hut. Like Jesus H Christ on a fucking bike. Smacking my damn damn hut up like. Gee Hey, buddy. What's up? Got some pills and I got some meat for you. Alrighty, so... Is there anything I... W I want to save it because I want to be able to get that. Okay, let's check the oven real quick, because I know checking the oven causes the thing to save. And I will catch you guys next time. Adios.